All right, lead code 206, reverse a linked list. Given the head of a singly linked list, reverse the list and return the reversed list. Okay, a singly linked list is this, for example. This is the head. Singly linked list is, means it goes one way. It has one link. Um, if it was uh, a double linked list, uh, this node would point here and it, this node would point back. But here we have a single linked list and we have to reverse the direction. So instead of one pointing to two, pointing to three, um, it's actually three pointing to two, pointing to one. So it goes like that. Uh, but a single linked list is tricky because we can't just reverse it because how we're we gonna get here, there's no access to it anymore. So we're gonna have to have this. Uh, oh, this. Uh, we're gonna have to have a pointer that points to the previous, points to the current, and points to the next. And here's the solution. So they gave us, they give us the head and we're supposed to return the new head, which would be three. So first we uh, assign current to the head. This is just to initiate it. And then let previous be null, assign it to null. And then while, while current, so that means uh, while current doesn't reach the end, when it reaches the end, it becomes null. So if it becomes null, it doesn't go in this while loop. So while current doesn't reach the end, uh, let next folder, I call it next folder because if I just call it next, it might confuse it with this next. So next holder could be called next. Next holder gets current dot next, current dot next, so two. Current dot next equals previous. So this is when we start reversing it. Since previous is pointing to null, that's previous equals current. Now we move on because we already pointed there. We don't need this to be here anymore. And then current dot next holder. Since we have a pointer going here, we could move this now. And then check if current has reached the end. No, it hasn't. So now we could move the next. And then current dot next, current dot next. Previous, so now we have a pointer going there. We don't need this anymore there. So move that. Now we have a pointer here. So uh, current is current.next. Okay. Wow. Current, yes. Current is still there. So next equals current.next. Current that next previous previous equals current current equals next holder. Okay, so now current equals null, right? So it doesn't go in this loop, and that's why we return previous because if we returned current it'd be pointing here and that's not the head. This is the new head. So we returned previous. So let's see how I did. All right, wow, 
that's pretty fast, faster than 98%, uh, and uses less memory than 32%. So in terms of time complexity, it's O of n. That's because um, if you can imagine if we had like lots of additional nodes, uh, the more nodes we ha have, the more time it would take. We don't really uh, do anything extra that adds to the time. So just um, the more nodes we have, the longer time it'll take because this constant time, we're just assigning variables, constant time, constant time, all constant time, except for the while loop. And while loop is dependent on how many nodes we have. And in terms of space complexity, it's also no, uh, O of N because uh, if there's like lots of uh, nodes, then the space that's needed to store those nodes also increases. Uh, we don't really create any extra space in this function, except for these three variables, the current, the previous, and the next. But no matter how big, how many nodes you have, whether it be a few or a lot, it'll always be just three. So it's constant. Um, yeah, uh, I hope you, learn something and thanks for watching.